A party at the house bring the whole crew together, but the unresolved issues from the previous season, which was season one, brings a lot of quarrels between these group of people, as I would call them. The whole thing was cringy and very awkward. Let's first start with the breakdown of the season two, episode one, Young, Famous, and African. This is season one breakdown. First of all, I want to make sure that I bring so that you guys know exactly who is on this episode and who is not on this new season. First of all, let's start with Miss Kanye. Kanye Mbawo is still on this season, okay? We have uh, Diamond Platinums. We have uh, Naked DJ, uh, Quentin, a.k.a. Naked DJ. And then we have uh, his girlfriend, Kaylee Schwartz. I think that's her last name, Kaylee Schwartz. And then we have Zari, the boss lady. We have Swanky, Funky, Jerry. We also have Andele Nube. We have Nadia Nakai still here. We have uh, Annie Edivius. Uh, she is still around with the husband, Tu Baba. We also have three newcomers on this season. We have Louis Manana from the desert, as they call him. We also have the newcomer from Nigeria. I guess she was born in America. Her name is Fontana. I don't know what Fontana does for a living. But turns out that she's actually a well-known celebrity in Ghana. Well, we will find out as the episode goes. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. And then, last but not least, we have the queen herself, Bonang Mateba. I don't know how I feel about Bonang joining this cast for this show. I don't know. My opinion is a little bit mixed. Uh, but I guess this is where the money resides, you know. She probably can do anything for a check. Uh, first of all, let's start first with what had, what we see on the first episode of uh, Young Famous. Is it Young, Rich, Famous, and African, or whatever you call it? Let's just first start and see what is going on here. So, first of all, we see Diamond Platts. Diamond Platinums is in a private jet coming back to South Africa. I don't know where Diamond Platinum is from. I see, is he from Kenya or is he from Uganda? I don't know. But supposedly, he's actually one of the big artists from the North. Um, from, no, not the North. Uh, he comes in in a private jet, um, and then he organizes this family meetup into a very nice Airbnb where um, he's pretty much trying to reach out to uh, DJ Naked to organize this, to put everybody together so they can come to this uh, Ponderosa type of situation that uh, he is planning, okay? Naked like DJ calls everybody to come for this party. And then, uh, first of all, she calls, so he calls Nadia Nakai, of course, and then he reaches out to Kanye. And obviously, they're going to reach out to other people to come over. So uh, Kanye meets Annie. Also, this is one of the scenes where we see, this is. Um, Another part that we've seen on the episode, Kanye meets Annie. Apparently, they've never met. As you've seen, I mean, we found out that she is now a resident of Dubai. Uh, the boyfriend is actually um, Dubai resident, so I guess she stays in uh, full time in uh, in Dubai. But now she came to South Africa to shoot this um, young, famous, and African. She meets Annie after a long time. You know, they have never. Well, we found out that they were actually not even in communication. Uh, but she meets Annie, and uh, also Andile asks Nadia about uh, Andile asks Nadia about you know the relationship with uh, AKA, and later we found out that AKA of course passed passed away. That was not a good conversation to have, especially around that moment. Honestly, I felt like they did not even get into details of what actually happened. You know, probably didn't want to capitalize on an AKA's death on this um, on this episode. Um, Diamond Platinum links up with DJ Naked before, you know, right after landing. Uh, this is when they were organizing this. So he meets up with the DJ Naked about this and pretty much tells everybody that he wants to introduce um, one of these hottest artists from out of nowhere. Okay, I guess um, he wanted to introduce Fantana to the group. Diamond Platinum was actually down for that. I don't know. I, I think, I don't know if they knew each other prior to this, but he was actually down for that because he knew exactly what he wanted to get out of that. Um, 
We also see the uh, Zari's grand entrance. Zari walks into the party and then of course Fantana comes in and then uh, right along the conversation, Fantana realizes that there is a conference, there is a, a little bit of awkwardness between, um, you know, in the room and then he's trying to fig- she's trying to figure out what's really going on and she keeps asking these questions. What are you? like? And then Fantana finds out that uh, Zari is actually the baby mama of, of Diamond and Fantana was actually looking into getting into uh, Diamond's pants, okay? So that's when the awkwardness starts to begin. Any and any and Kanye walks in, of course, they're friends. We, we found out that. And then the last person to walk in into this party was uh, Swanky. Swanky comes in, and then he tells everybody that he wants to also introduce someone to the crew. And I guess um, everybody was trying to figure out. We, all, we already knew that Bonan was going to be the other person that probably can have a little bit of a relationship with Swanky because who would you expect Bonan to be friends with on the show? We all know that Bonang had a relationship with uh, Nadia Nakai, of which we, honestly we didn't even know, but we actually found out that they had a special relationship. We don't know, but it actually did not even last. It was probably not even a public relationship. And then Nadia actually tells them that there was a fallout between her and Bonang, of which we, the people, want to know what was the fallout about, what happened. She did not even want to go uh, uh, details. Honestly, I felt like these people should have went into details to explain exactly what is happening and what happened, why all this relationship fell out. We all want to know. But he comes in, Swanky, and then Bonang, of course, makes this huge grand entrance. When she walks in, the room starts getting quiet. Everybody starts looking at each other. And then, of course, the first person to walk out was Nadia Nakai. She walks out because she doesn't want to be part of this. And it's just the room started getting so uncomfortable. Everybody feeling so uncomfortable. And then, uh, of course, Kanye walks out too. And then that is where the separation in your room starts to begin. People start to separate and start to forming their groups and all of that. And of course, DJ Naked comes in and then he realizes that, well, something is really awkward here. What's going on? Why are we having a group C? Why are we divided? Let's go join them people on the other table. And then they go and join um, uh, other people on the table, which was uh, Kanye, um, uh, Nadia, and um, and Quentin's girlfriend, Kayla. So Bonan starts picking up these energies, excited to get really uncomfortable. Well, another person that worked in that I forgot to, to talk about was Andele because the moment it started getting really, really awkward. Remember that prior to that, Diamond Plus met up with DJ Naked and he was just kind of expressing how he doesn't appreciate um, Andele trying to hit on his baby mama. And it was more like a, a, a bro call, you know. He considers him uh, as his brother and he just didn't understand why he's doing that. The whole conversation was really uncomfortable for him. So when he sees Andele walks in the room, it was it was very awkward. But one thing that Andele did, you know, he came in, he gave everybody a hug, including greeting uh, Diamond Platts. You know, he knows exactly how Diamond feels about the whole situation. But he decided that, you know what, I'm just going to be a big brother and I'll come in here and I'll greet everybody like everything is normal. He did say something slick about the suit that he was wearing. That kind of upset him. <laughs> that kind of upset him. I mean, that suit was ugly. I'm not going to lie. I'm the with ugly suits. Come on, man. You can do better. You can do better. You're you know what? Let me not even go there. But um, he comes in and then, of course, he hugs uh, Zari. And the hug was a little bit awkward. It was like one of those hugs that's like, okay, now you're doing too much. Okay, Zari is the one who's actually pushing this. You know, Remember Zari from, the, from, the, uh, from season one, Zari was always trying to choose um, the, the, the person uh, who she's comfortable with dating the uh, uh, baby daddy, which is Diamond Platts. It was a little bit weird uh, to see her hugging him like that and Diamond Platts was just sitting there like, wait, this is just getting awkward. We were just talking about this with Andile and this is just happening right in front of my face. Well, that's pretty much how the episode one went. Honestly, it was just, you know, very shallow. Of course, I mean... The, how they introduced it from the, the, the beginning, I felt like, you know, I mean, it wasn't bad when you look at it because, you know, it was just more like uh, introducing everybody, uh, bringing new people into the scene and, you know, these friends coming with another friend and stuff like that. You know, they picked up from what they left off 
uh, from um, the old season, season one. But we are going to be reviewing season two. Just hang around. I will be back with uh, season two, episode two. Yeah, young, famous, and African. I will see you guys.